Do you? Yeah. The singer uh, Masayuki, he like has this big like kind of like almost like Sinatra esque voice where he's just like very oh, strong yeah. and it's like, very big front. band vibes. Like the yes. songs are very much like Sinatra. It, it's very it, they remind me of like a modern Sinatra. Like that's I love them. They're so good. Yeah. And it, all his themes are super good. But to me, I love Love is Show because it is like the perfect conclusion to the whole Love is War arc because the movie. Mm-hmm famously ends with them officially together and the the, yeah. the whole love is war plot line is it's kind over. of con- it's concluded yeah. and now we're into them the love stories of <laughs> love, <laughs> is, they, the love show. is show yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a way yeah. um it is hey guys i'm bill a one-time instagram blogger and now a podcaster and I'm Alex, the Chaotic Neutral. And together we are the Gaming and Collecting Podcast. A brother-sister duo. That talks about gaming. And also anime. And don't forget the collecting. Or er, sometimes. Ah, forget it. We're just a nostalgia podcast at this point. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining us as we discuss the games that shaped us. <laughs> How you been? Well, Bill, I've only talked to you about five minutes ago when we recorded the last podcast, so yep. things have been shit. I hate doing this. I quit. Me. Yeah. You want get- ASMR? I can't. Yeah, you can't. Do I have to say it again? Don't be a quitter. Try. Try it right now. No, I yes. don't want to throw out my voice right before the podcast. You're not gonna throw it out. Just, just try it. Say, no. just, just say hi. To ASMR. Let's go on. Hello there, guys. How you doing today? Yep. Not happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> because my voice doesn't go that low. Well, it doesn't go that. You know what? Light. You know what? <laughs> You're a quitter. Oh well. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, so not much has happened. Uh, I still have my coffee from the place that exploded, so that's great. I still have what's left of my. It's mostly just the ice. Yeah. So we're gonna just. I... <laughs> but I do, I do though have a backup drink, and it is the one and only Poland Springs water bottle. There's no nutritional facts on it, but don't forget. It is a choking hazard, so do not eat the cap. Don't eat it. It looks delicious, but don't do it. <laughs> See, they used to make the caps these big man-sized caps. Well, and now they now they're do tiny. tiny. They're, now they're tiny little choking hazards. <laughs> tiny that, sounded really, cho- that sounded really bad. I apologize. <laughs> um. Wonderful. What a great start to a to a podcast. But remember. You can scan for more info. <gasps> Maybe if I scan it, that's where the nutritional facts will be. Well, you can find that out in between episodes because we're going to jump into our topic for this one because we got an interesting one this time. Uh, we've been toying around with this no! idea for a while because we really like to talk about music and anime on this show. So why not combine the two? <laughs> so disclaimer going ahead. We're, you're going to hear a lot of butchered Japanese <laughs> pronunciations. Yeah. Especially because, like, they, these, they never really name them during the shows or anything. Like, it's just shown on a credit screen. So, yes. We're so, sorry. We, we're going to apologize in advance now for any names that get butchered here. We're sorry. Yes. Um, so, the, our topic for this episode is we're going to be talking about our top 10 favorite anime intros. Yes. And anime intros, honestly, have become almost more like part their own, like, culture along with anime because. They're legitimate songs created by Japanese, like, pop, metal, rock bands. Oh, yeah. Like, and especially when you compare, like, an American cartoon to, like, an anime intro, like, an American cartoon intro to a man, it's not even comparable. Like, and especially, like, to, like, all of these songs that we're going to talk about, all of them are on Spotify to listen to with a full song. For, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. But all of them are, like... 
it's a full song like someone wrote a whole song for it like mm. where an american one is like maybe a one minute or even like probably a 30 second just do 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 do, do intro and that's about it like there and are, it's not there you know, let's keep in mind there are exceptions though some american there cartoons are exceptions but for the most part you're not <laughs> i mean maybe you are but you're i don't think you're playing the spongebob intro on repeat you, you know hey don't judge <laughs> judging but like it's different you know it's great intro perfect for the show but not something i would list to on See, daily you know what happens with american slash british intros they become like memes on tiktok like the thomas the tank engine intro <laughs> yeah we just we just make it cursed yeah but yeah, so we're so just a forewarning, obviously, to, because of copyright reasons, we're not going to be playing any of the songs on this episode. Yeah, because that's a can of worms I don't even want to open. But we will be sharing. We did make playlists, so we will be sharing the playlist yeah. after. So you can listen be, to them. I'm going to provide the playlist links in the yeah. description of this oh, podcast. Listen as you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might have to figure it out a little because the names aren't exactly going to match up because we had to translate a little bit. Mine is in order. So mine will mine... be in order once I uh, post it. It's yeah. not at the moment because I made it in a rush. But yeah. Yeah. So we're going to start with intros. And yes. do you want to go first or should I go first? Uh, you can go first. And uh, we're going to start reverse order, kind of like how we've done with our, yeah. uh, you know, anime countdowns before and yes. stuff. Um, so we're going to go 10 from to two. Do some honorable mentions, and yep. then we'll go our number ones. Yes. All right. So my number 10. Um, this was tough because there was a lot of intros I really love, and I was yeah. trying to keep them down. Like, my honorable mentions might raise some eyebrows, honestly. But <laughs> okay. My number 10 intro to me is Home by Asako Toki from Fruit Baskets. Uh, I believe it is the season two opening, or the second opening of season two. That intro did not make my list, but I do love that intro. It's a very, like, very sweet song, and it's very, it's perfect for the show. So the Fruit Baskets intros are very all over the place to me. Like, I admit they're not all great. Uh, the outros are better, in my opinion. Particularly, season three has a great intro and outro. Mm. Um, but I was, I didn't really want to do Pleasure for this one, just because Pleasure is good, but it's, it's a little aggressive. I prefer home like i prefer the intro of that one i agree home is like the most fruit baskets feeling one to me like it's like, very i feel like when you listen to that song you just kind of picture like toru on a stroll with all her other friends and it's like you like it's it very much fits the vibe of the it's, show it's both positive but also melodramatic and it fits the uh yeah tone very well yeah that's what so i threw it in at number 10 nice what was your number 10? My number 10 was Limit Break Survivor by oh. Kiyoshi Hikawa, uh, which is the Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power intro. Uh, I freaking love this song. Like, I listen to it every single time I'm watching the Tournament of Power. I never skip the intros. It really pisses Bill off when I don't skip the intro. Oh, uh, but... well, this is a this is an exception. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> Limit Break this, Survivor. This song is a a banger i mean like it was really hard like I, there's so many good ones um i would say though like listening to it without watching the like actual intro playing it does feel different i don't know why but like when i listen to it while watching like the opening credits like it just like it gets me more hyped and like i still get hyped listening to it but when it, it's on spotify i don't get as hyped I don't know why. I just feel like the animation kind of brings the song even more. Like, it, even more like, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's an interesting one. I, I'll actually save it for later in the list. For, okay. You may, have, you may know why. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I will say, though, that is a good that is a good choice. Yes. So, number nine for me is Maguro Mano by uh, Takuma Karashima. And this is the, I believe it is the season two opening for uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Okay. It's either season two, part one or season two, part two. I can't remember exactly. Or it might be season one. I, It's it's one of the slime intros, though. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. 
it is a very mellow dramatic kind of song like the slime intros are weird they're very like kind of like moody sounding they're not super bombastic and that's kind of why i like them <laughs> bombastic <laughs> i love that word <laughs> even though the, the slime diaries intros are just super are, are ironically bombastic so yes but uh yeah i enjoyed this one very much it was super moody like but also like very like calming at the same time I kind of forgot about the slime and truth. <laughs> They're not super memorable to me. So I'm going to need to refresh on that one. I know there was one that I particularly liked. I, I have a feeling it's that one, but I'll need to refresh. Yeah, um, it, it's it's funny with the slime intros like, you know, all of them. You just can't remember. Them. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's like I, I know them. And if I heard them, I'd be like, oh, that's from slime. But I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what they were. <laughs> yeah. It's it's good though. It, they the artists that they got to do them did a very good job. Nice. So what do you have for number nine? My number nine is a uh, brand new world by D fifty one, which is One Piece's opening six intro. Um, I love this one. It's very upbeat and like it just kind of starts out with them like like super happy and um. It's a very it's a very fun and vibrant intro, and I believe it's also it was. I'm not sure if it was the first one where they changed the format to only doing an intro, but I believe it's one of the ones where there's only an intro. So um, you're saying you say brand new world. Is is this the intro for the new the at post time skip? No, this was pre time skip. Okay, so I'm just yeah. Kidding. This at that was point. I believe this was during the um, Water Seven arc. I have a fe- I think it was during that one. Um, uh, but yeah. I love this one. It's very upbeat, very fun to listen to. Um, and like you can even like kind of sing along with it too, which is pretty nice. Uh, and I feel like when you can just automatically be like, da, 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 like it comes right to your head, you're like, okay, like that this is a good bop. So this was this is probably one of my favorite one piece intros. Mm. Um, yeah. So wow, at number nine. I, I will say, like, I love the one piece intros, but like not one not all of them are on spotify which kind of sucks and then i don't listen to them as much because i just i i don't have access to them so i kind of forget about them but mm. this one is on there so i do listen to this one quite a bit um oh, yeah. but a lot of them aren't a lot of the one piece ones aren't on there or it's like a cover but i just i don't know i can listen to some covers like if i'm going in like if it's an amelie cover like i'm listening to, like she's amazing but if it's just some random guy listening to it to listen to the song i'm like eh, i'll pass <laughs> yeah um it's interesting that, so you can tell alex isn't biased for this list because one piece hasn't taken over all of it <laughs> no i i tried not to be biased like because there's another one piece intro that i almost put on there but i i put it in the one honorable mentions because it's um th- this one i i prefer more nice uh so for me number eight is Kara no Kokoro mm-hmm. by Anli, which is the final opening for Naruto Shippuden. Oh, okay. I might, so, I might have that. It's um so the it's the intro that played during the final segment of the show where it was after it was, they it was were during, adults. So it was after the time skip. Uh it was kind of like all the stuff post the last mm-hmm. uh film it, during that whole period of time after the war, but before Bardo. It's the period that I wish they expanded more upon because it's such a fascinating time for the series. Mm-hmm. Um, that had an intro though, and it is such a bop. like Naruto intros are just bops in general. Yeah, I like, I will say like I was tempted to put a Naruto intro on here, Bluebird, like that intro. Wonderful, but you haven't. But I haven't watched the show, so I'm like I I can't put that on there unless I've watched the show. But I can yeah. confirm. There's some really good Naruto intros. Like we'll be getting to it later, but like even Bardo, like for as as much as that show, <laughs> I believe Matt, I believe our buddy Matt uh, made the comment uh, needs needs to take mental health break from that show at times. <laughs> yes. um, even though that show has questionable qual- qual- uh, quality, it has the same quality bops that we might be hearing for more later. Hint, hint. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah. Our, our, the final intro for Shippuden to me, like it is stuck with me forever. I just love how like upbeat it is, and it fits the, the whole like post like war kind of tone that the show had. So what's your number eight, Alex? 
My number eight is Bloody Stream by Coda, which is a uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Two intro. Bloody and it Stream. Is just it is just the one of like the more Z. Like I feel like the ones that were kind of. Pa- I mean, a lot of the JoJo's ones are good, but this one is just like it's so funky and like just so like kind of zany and it's like the black sheep of like the other intros and i just love it um especially because like it's it's the arc where uh it's joseph joestar when he's younger and he's just like the he he's the goofiest joestar like and it just it fits his part so well i love bloody stream it is so good um yeah yeah it's uh, good. You should, I like, I, I've listened name. to it a lot in the car. Like, I feel like you've listened to it. It's that one that's like, I, I can't sing, so I'm not going to sing. But when you, you post, when it. you post your playlist, I will listen to it. You after won't song. recognize it. You'll be like, oh yeah, I've heard this one many a times because it's such a funky, fun bob. Hmm. Nice. Yes. So, my number seven. This is a very well-known recent one. Is Kickback by Kenshi Yonzu. Ah! From Chainsaw Man. Okay. This intro, you hear the bass and you're just hooked from there. It's like the do 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 And then you hear the freaking keyboards <laughs> in the background. It it goes so hard for no yeah. reason. And it's like it, Chainsaw Man's an interesting one because the intro doesn't change at all throughout the series, but they have different outros for every episode, which yeah. is crazy. Um that bass though is so like that distorted bass that plays like in the the fact that they did like CGI animation mm-hmm. for the intro, it's just an interesting touch to me and it really gets you in the mood for how crazy this show is. Yeah, like it's so I made dark Bill, and insane. I made Bill, most like he skipped it a couple times, but I would yell at him if he tried to skip it. I'd be like, "Do not skip it." I skipped it I when you were in the bathroom. <laughs> like, I would go- be pissed. I'd be like, "I want to listen to it while I'm in the bathroom too." Like. It's such a good pop. Yeah. Now that's a, that one surprised me for a modern one. Just how like catchy it was. <laughs> the bass slaps. But what's your number seven, slap. Alex? My number seven is Welcome to Chaos by No Name, which is the Dora Hidaro intro. Um, I, I love this intro. It very much fits the vibe of the show. It jump scares um, you because it's like a scream <laughs> when it starts. Yeah, it is like a scream and like, it it's it fits the vibe of the show. One of my favorite things about the intro is when um there's like a scene of Nik- Nikaido and she's making gyoza, but she's just like it, it's showing her face like insane, like chopping the meat, and it it's just it's so iconic. I love it. Um, it always it it kind of like changed something. It gets me hyped for the show every time. I rarely ever skipped it. Uh, same with the outros for that show as well. Um. Yeah, that one it's just a bop and it just fits so well with the show where it opens with that scream. Um yeah, and it, it fits because like one of the things like the show always does is like um at the end of the show, like and we are entering chaos or entering dar- like entering darkness or something at the end. Um the little radio they- announcer voice at the yeah, end. Yeah, at the yeah. end, and it's like it, it fits it just fits the vibe of the show so well. And it's just such a like funky song. I love it. Yeah, Dora Hidoro's got some great, uh, great intros. It's particularly it's some great the outros. Same artists too. Yeah, no, by far. We'll be hearing more from them probably in the, the next episode we're going to be doing. If you could take a guess what that is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So now going on to number six. My number six. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Barado, is over by Little Glee Monster. Uh, it is the oh. second opening for Naruto, and this song is way catchier than it has any reason to be it is like a straight up 70s like doo-wop song it's like like the one that's like uh, like Like it Mm -hmm. it it goes so hard and it's like why is this so why is it doing this yeah (laughs) like i added to my play my anime playlist like years ago back when it first aired and um i was listening it to the playlist once and i'm like what is this like 60s doo-wop song doing in here and i looked i'm like oh it's a barito intro so i had to go back and listen to it and i was like it's it goes so hard and you know talking about like just the styles that's one thing that's so cool about the anime intros is that like they really like it's such a broad range where it can be like those soft melodic songs like home versus like 
a doo Naruto intro or like a full death metal intro for some of them as well. Like it's just, it's so interesting the range of just what the intros can be. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's straight up an anime intro that makes you want to dance. Like that's how like hard it goes. Yeah. So what's your number six, Alex? My number six is uh, Wild Side by Ali or Ollie. Uh, it's ALI, so <laughs> Ali or Ollie. Uh, and that's actually the B Stars intro for season one. What I love about this intro is that, like, it starts off with, like, this very, like, like, the whole song is building up to, like, the end of the song. Uh, and it's very, like, you can you can just feel it the whole time. And there's, like, it's very jazzy. There's, like, trombones and, like, uh, trumpets in the background, saxophones. And it's, like, like, he's more kind of, like, not singing. It's more of, like, the speak singing, like, where he's more just, like, talking, almost rapping, I would say. And then, like, it just it pops the ending where he's just, like, the song changes the vibe and it just like turns into a different song and it just goes full on dancing, like full on jazz. Uh, and it's, it's so fun. I love it. Like it's one of those intros that I listen to all the time. Uh, whenever I'm watching that show. Um, and I love listening to the full song because like there's, it, it make the buildup go so much longer. And then when you get to like the final, like, ah, it's even better. So yeah. I feel like it's almost like on the show, the buildup isn't enough. And then like in the, when you listen to the full song, I actually like it more. Like there's more buildup to it. And it just makes the ending so much more enjoyable. No, totally. Yeah. Like yeah. I love, I love the ones like that. They're just so like, you just get into them. You're like, every time you got to go. Yeah. Like I listen to it every time and it's like, it's very funky and like so different from like, other intros because the second season intro is also really good but it completely flips it's by uh yasobi um who does like the intro for um idol uh who does oh, yeah. idol for oshinoko um which also a really great intro but this one just like it it just it it honestly helped draw me into watching the show because i wasn't super interested in it despite the only thing that really was drawing me in was just the animation style, looking at 3D. And the intro honestly kind of kept me in it. It drew me into the show more. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So for number five, my number five pick is Rain by Sid, which is the final opening I have for... I a Sid on here too! Nice. It is the final opening for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. It is so the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood intros are a little all over the place. Some of them are really hype. Some of them are kind of more mellow. This one I feel like is like it's a perfect representation for like where it is in the show's narrative. It's like the final one, so it's like the, this is the climax of the show, and it has a really good like just like the way it kind of gets you into it every episode. You're like, yeah, this is this is it. Like we're finally getting there. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this one, and it was interesting because like. I haven't fully watched FMA B in a while. So like going through all these openings again, I'm like, I remember these, these were hype. Yeah. Yeah. So the, it's plus the animation and stuff. And like, just like the way it show it shows Alan Ed's, uh, Ed and Al's like journey through the series as mm -hmm. they've gone on. Great stuff. Like right away. Nice. So what's your number five, Alex? My number five is a uh, Tombi by Kiv Baba. I might be butchering that. Um, and it is for Trigun Stampede. Oh, nice. Um, this song, I I love this intro. It's very um, it's very mellow and chill, but it's also like it really gets you going into the show. I feel like it kind of tries to bring in those classic Western elements that are in um that are in the Trigun series. Like the in the original intro to Trigun is very much like Western-y. Um, and it, it kind of brings that element, but it also is incorporating the more like almost cyberpunk aspects that the new series has. Um, it's just a very chill song. Um, but when I first listened to it, I was like, it was it starts out with like a doom, 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 and it like you're instantly kind of hooked onto it. Uh, I love it. I when I was watching the show, I watched the intro every single time, and I think I listened to it on repeat for like a good month straight after watching it. Nice. Um, yeah, because it was just really good, and it was like cool. Um, it was cool because I mean, I I love that. Um, 
I mean, most shows kind of have Japanese artists because it is Japan, but this was an artist who um, I don't think is originally from Japan. I think, um, I mean, just by the name, Kiv Baba, I not, I don't think he's certain. I don't think he's from Japan, but he did a really excellent job. And it was just kind of like his vocal style was just different, but I feel like mm. it fit the show because um, it wasn't that traditional, you know, like J-pop kind of vocals. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a show I got to try at some point. It's just it's, way down the line. It's really good. Um, and I think, too, like, especially kind of what I was talking about. I talked about Beastars or, earlier. That was, like, Studio Orange's kind of first big animation. And mm. just the animation quality from Beastars to Trigun improved tremendously. Like, the 3D looks really good. Like, um, Studio Orange is doing excellent job in the 3D aspect. Nice. Yeah. All right. So my number four is our first repeat. Uh, it is oh. also Limit Break X Survivor. <laughs> um, nice. So, so the reason why I held off is basically th this song is so hype. Like, mm -hmm. so, what's interesting to me is like for years this song was not on Spotify. And we were so far <laughs> for so but, long. Um, it's interesting to me because I actually for a long time preferred the original dragon ball super intro that plays for the majority of the series yeah which is also really hype but um because i remember when i first heard limit break x survivor i oh, was shit. like um i just hit you, my table with my footstool <laughs> sorry <laughs> you, you <get> <laughs> sorry i just it, it banged into the desk which uh, uh oh my screen is blurry but it's fine it'll figure it's itself okay. out later <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, like, so like when I first heard Limit Break X Survivor, I was like, I, I didn't really vibe with it at first. I thought it was kind of like a little too like jarringly different. But mm -hmm. after my second rewatch of the series, like it is so hype. Like it just like, it's like kicks you right from the start. It's like, do, 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 Like just it, crazy stuff. Like, And it fits the arc so well. Cause like it, like the other intro, I just don't think would be as hype to get you excited about the tournament of power. Hmm. Yeah, it, it it's so fast and like just like it kicks so much. Your camera's fixed, by the way. I, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so fast and so hype that like it just like you get like super into it and you just can't stop listening to it. And when it's over, you're like, damn. But now I get to watch the episode. Hmm. Yeah, limit break X Survivor though. That that's an excellent. Yes. Excellent intro. Excellent. Excellent. So Alex, uh, <laughs> what, what's your number four? My number four is a uh, VIP by Sid. Uh, it's the Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic intro. Um, I believe the first intro. I think they switched it up halfway through. But man, does this one just get you excited in the show? Because like literally the start of it is just um, Sid just like bellowing out this amazing vocal and you're just you're hooked immediately and it's mm. so upbeat and fun and like it fits the show so well like um and i will say like the other none of the other moggy intros got me this like excited <laughs> and like to watch the show um as the other ones so thankfully like the show matched the hype like the intro kind of reeled me into the show and then the show continued the hype even when that intro kind of went away so I feel like it definitely it's it's so good. I wish they kept it for the whole first season and they didn't switch it at all because it's just so fun. It's a really, really fun song. And like Sid's vocal range is just wonderful in it. Hmm. It's one of those rare times I wish we could have the music playing at the same time. I know. It's, it's, it's logistically like in, it's logistically just something that we can't do. The only way you could do it is if like this because I, I think you can do it if it's like exclusive just to a spotify yeah unfortunately but if we I don't, don't wanna... spread it to any of the other ones yeah but the thing is though we're on youtube now and that's a big flag right there yeah so, so womp womp yeah so big no there but um... but hey we'll have the we'll have the uh so this is a good one to watch on youtube because then you can have spotify open and listen along as you watch on yeah. youtube well and definitely we'll have the uh the playlist included as we yes. said earlier uh okay so my number three was the hardest one to choose on this entire <laughs> list all right and you'll know why because it is 
Love is Show by Mas- <laughs> Masayuki Suzuki in from Kaguya-sama, Love is War. You didn't the first put Daddy, never- Daddy, do? This is why this one was so hard, because all four Kaguya-sama intros are fucking hype as shit. <laughs> they and are. They are. Legitimately, I had to sit down and really think, which one do I truly love the most? And I'm not going to lie. I fucking love Love is Show. It is yeah. so perfect. It's like the perfect conclusion. Is to- that the first one? No, that's the movie one. Oh, the movie one. Okay. Um, that's why when you asked me, "Are movie is movie stuff oh. okay?" I was, I was like, <laughs> "Yes," because I'm including one. Um, I have movie in my outro list. Shit, spoilers. Oh, we've no. already spoiled it. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Never mind. This this song, yeah. l- love it. So, for those who don't know, the Kaguya song intros are like so they go so hard. Like they do. The, the singer uh, Masayuki, he like has this big like kind of like almost like Sinatra-esque voice where he's just like very oh, strong yeah. and it's like, very big front. band vibes. Like the yes. songs are very much like Sinatra. It, it's very, it, they remind me of like a modern Sinatra. Like that's, I love them. They're so good. Yeah. And it, all his themes are super good. But to me, I love love is show because it is like the perfect conclusion to the whole love is war arc because the movie mm-hmm. famously ends with them officially together. And the, the, yeah. the whole, love is war plot line is it's kind over. of con- it's concluded yeah. and now we're into them the love stories of <laughs> love, <laughs> they, the love show. is show yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a way yeah um it is so catchy though and like it, it like it has like even like the female backup singers he's got going on through it like the, oh yeah la, 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 like it's you just know. so hype and i love it and it was so hard to pick one of those three but this one to me is just perfect i i did have um in it was hard i had like at one point i had like 25 songs and there was a few kaguya sama ones it was hard for me to cut them like because they i'm so good but it, it was hard i i struggled speaking of struggles what's your number three alex my number three was kickback by wow. G. <laughs> so chainsaw man intro i mean it, it's a bop. I was maniacally yelling at Bill whenever he skipped it. I would scream at him in utter rage of how dare he skip this intro because it was. I love how the the product like the production for the song like just like speaking musically is kind of raw and like rough sounding because it fits the chaotic nature of Chainsaw Man. Like it's got that very distorted kind of like feel to it. Like the vocals distort at times. Yeah. Like, also, like when it, I don't think it, I don't know if it plays. In it. No, it does play in the intro, but like there's that part where it's like la 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 in the middle, like where it suddenly just changes the tone, and then it just goes right back into the da 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 da. da. Like it's, yeah, like the the craziness, just, like that gif of Denji and Power just like shuffle dancing yes. together that you see yes. all the time. Like, I love them. They're so. Oh, it just it gets you so hyped for the show. Oh, and kind of, I mean, we already talked about it, but like, it just, it's so fitting to the show. It gets you so hyped and it never gets old. Like I can listen to that again and again and again and again. And it, I can still listen to it again and again and again. It's so good. And that's why it's my number three. Nice. Yeah. Kick, kick back is totally up there. All right. So my number two, this one was, I knew was going to be on the list just in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be this high, though. And <laughs> after going through the list, I really realized how much I like this song. But it is Kura Kura by Otto, which is the um, introduction for Spy Family Season 2. Nice. So coming right after watching One Piece Red and all of the Otto songs in that yes. film, I really took a liking to her voice. So She's very when talented. I, She's when a I list- very talented singer. When I re- listen to Spy Family, which Spy Family has grown on me as one of like the best new animes in a long time. It really is one of his favorites. Like it, it's so good. Um, but uh, when considering how much it's grown on me, when I immediately listen, so I didn't even wait for Spy Family to like build up some dub episodes before I started watching it. I watched the second it premiered, mm-hmm. and the second I heard this intro, and I heard. I heard the voice and I was like, I know that voice. That sounds so eerily familiar. And then I saw in the credits auto and I was like, oh, it's the one piece red lady. It's yeah. like, <laughs> this song just goes. Oh, so, yeah. no. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, so all of the, uh, the spy family intros are like super hype. Like the first one by mix nuts is really good. The one by mm-hmm. bump of chicken is also excellent. 
this one though it just goes so hard like in it the animation of the intro itself really inc- is part of the reason why because it just it fits the wacky nature of this show so well and i fucking love it i can't wait for alex to hear like the uh watch it because she'll she's she's gonna get it yeah i have listened to it already and it is really good it's on my it, uh anime playlist right now it goes I'm ex- so hard <laughs> like why does it go that hard <laughs> like, why not why not yeah, but number it all the way to number like legit. It was the first thing I put on my list, and it I knew it wasn't gonna be number one because of what number one is. But uh, I immediately number two because I just I'm so hi- it's so hype. Yes. So what's your number two, Alex? My number two is "Paint It Black" by oh. Beach, uh, which was the Black Clover opening two. Uh, this is just this one's my favorite opening. Uh, this one I. This one, I feel like it just it really honestly, it was so hard not putting like multiple black clover ones on this mm-hmm. list because like all of them are great. Like there's really not any of them that are not good. Um, and it sucks too because like I love the last intro to Grandeur. Uh, of course it's not on Spotify. There's a good, pretty good cover by uh, I think Nordics uh, or. Someone's cover. I don't know who's covered, but I have it on my playlist. And it's, it's good, like, okay, it's covering for now. But Paint It Black is just, like, it's that one where it's, like, I, like, will always go back on the playlist and listen to it. It's so good. Um, nice. And all, honestly, all the Black Clover ones, like, they go so hard. Like, I try and tell people all the time, I feel like that show gets, like, shit on a lot. And it really doesn't, I feel like it doesn't deserve all the, all the shit it goes through. It's... It's really good. And the intros just kind of keep you going the whole time. Mm-hmm. But Painted Black's my favorite. Um, it was the second opening and it just it really got me hyped even more. The first opening is excellent too, but this one I feel like really helped get me more into the show as well. The first opening's the one that keeps reprising throughout the show, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get we'll get into it. But um Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's- the the next uh, part we want to do before we get to our number ones is we want to just do a couple honorable mentions. Because How many did you do? Five. Five? Okay, I did five, I st- too. I stuck to five. Yeah. It um, was tough. It was tough yeah. just even doing the honorable mentions. Like, it was not fair. And some of my the five I picked, honestly, are probably going to raise some eyebrows. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I don't really care because this is my list. Yeah, <laughs> I do what I fucking want. <laughs> Yes. Um, so my five honorable mentions, uh, we're not going to go super deep into these. We're going to just kind of give maybe a brief expl- explanation. Yeah. Um, first off, I've got Ho Ho Eme no uh, Bakudan by Matsu- Mat- Matsuko Maritari. Uh, this is the opening intro to Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Do, do, do. It's just it's so hype. Flying on her broom. Yep. Yep. It's so 80s and so hype. I love it. I also got. Yeah. I also have Easy Love by uh, Sumeri. It's Usaka. Uh, That's the opening intro to the first season of uh, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. It's so metal as shit for no reason. And I love it. Oh, it's metal? (laughs) It's it's like hard rock and almost metal. Oh my God. That's Um, awesome. I believe the singer too is the voice, the Japanese voice actress for uh, Nagatoro. So it kind of fits the tone of the uh, oh, series cool. that's, uh, i included it's cool that's kind of nice to have you've probably heard it a few times on my playlist it it, it rocks oh. really hard um this one's a shout out to our our buddy slade uh it's uh specials by king ganu from jujutsu kaisen season two <laughs> <laughs> you are my special dee, 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 dee. i haven't even watched it yet and i've already heard that intro so much i i just like the the vibe it goes <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, I included that. Um, I also included Flyers by Bradio from Death Parade. Nice. This theme goes way wicked hard, and it really doesn't fit the tone of the show at all, but I fucking <laughs> love it. Nice. And then my final honorable mention is AO100 Shoku by uh, Miko Itu, and that is the second opening for Komi got a nice piano to it and it's fun yeah i know i have a comey i think it's an outro but it also has piano and it's very mm. soothing they're they're very nice songs i will say they are sweet 
but yeah, so those were my honorable mentions. Alex, what are your honorable mentions? All right, my honorable mentions. We got Flyers by Bradio <laughs> because it's so hype. <laughs> it's so hype, and it's like just does not match the show at all, but it does at the same time. It's wonderful. It's like big um, band. It's like so freaking no, crazy. Yeah, it's like it's like burner, dang it! Like it's it hooks you right in, uh, and it's funny because like at, I think it even starts. They're all like in this dance pose, which is yeah. not the show. <laughs> it's it's wonderful watch watch that show watch the intro um my next one is black rover uh by vic blanca uh black clover opening three um another one it honestly this one and uh this one and painted black were really close it was really hard to choose between these two i love them both but painted black just it has just this different mm. vibe to it that um i just i love that one but Black Rover, also awesome because it's it's very much you can sing along with this one as well. Um, I think because I think it's uh, English. I think it is in English, so you can sing along to it really easily, which I think is why it's very memorable. Um, my next one is The Peak by uh, Seke no Owari, which is the One Piece opening twenty five. Um, which is opening not, 25. It's hey, it's not even there's opening 26 because they changed the opening for the Eggman arc, but not Eggman, not Dr. Eggman. Dr. Egg, I'm brain farting, anyways. Um, for the newest arc, um, and uh, Egghead that's the word, not Eggman. Um, but it's I am uh, the Eggman, <laughs> that's what I the, am. The peak, it just it fits so it's really the animation in this intro is so beautiful and it's after so it's like the intro for gear five and it's basically like it's like a very magical song i would say like it's very upbeat and happy and it just like it's almost like a parade march at one point and it just fits the whole vibe of gear five so well um I absolutely love and adore this intro. I'm sad that they already replaced it because it really hadn't been there for that long. And I really liked it. So I'm a little upset. Anyways, um, my fourth honorable mention is Contradiction by uh, Kisiki featuring Tyler Carter. I completely butchered that. Uh, this was for God of High School. And if you want a song to like work out to you and like run or just get super hyped. This is your song. It is so like, like it, it builds the beat up so quickly and like it gets you so hyped. And then like the show is kind of disappointing, which sucks. But, um, <laughs> but the wow. intro is bomb because yeah, the, the show, it, it's a little disappointing just cause, uh, it really didn't do the, uh, manhwa justice but hey the intro is a bop so at least we got that uh and then my last one completely different from all the other ones but i adore this intro it's uh let me be with you by round table and it's the intro for the show called showbits um it's a very old show like i remember this is one of the first ones that i remember watching when i was younger and kind of exploring anime and this intro is just like it's such a cute like bop of a song it's very much like a very poppy song but it's just it as soon as you hear the intro you recognize the song you go oh my god that's let me be with you it's a wonderful song i rediscovered it recently and i've been playing it non-stop so had to put in my honorable mentions nice yeah all right so number Drum one roll. Alex might be surprised by this one. It's also the reason why I didn't say a word when she brought it up in her honorable mentions. But, oh, uh, it is Black Rover. Oh, nice, nice. Th so this was hard for me because it was between Black Rover and Black Catcher. Yep, I, I assume I when you didn't put a uh, Black Clover <laughs> one on there, I was like, oh, is Black Clover going to be his number one? Like I was, I was kind of waiting. So yeah, so I, I initially wanted to do Black Catcher and. It was close, but Black Black Rover is just so much it's more so hype. So much hype. There's so like that yeah. opening piano like rift that starts it. Yeah. The like, and then it just like goes fucking hard right away, and you can sing along to it. Like it is really catchy, yeah. and honestly, like I think that one has been in my like running and just workout playlist a lot lately. Like I've always liked it. if I need a Black Clover intro, that's the one I always put on now. 
And I think I love that one too because like it really also kind of ties in really well with the show. Like when the Black Bulls are kind of going from all these myth- misfits to really becoming a team and working together and they're like their whole unity is changing and it's very much like it's like a, yeah we're a team we're together like this is awesome and it, it's it really fits where the show is at during that time mm. no definitely yeah honestly like it, it, it was just such a bop i had to include one of them and it was so hard to pick between those yeah. two <laughs> I'm glad that one of the shows I made you watch is in your top 10. Yeah, and it's grown on me a lot. I I was just forgot how early it was, too, in the series. Yeah. It's a good pop. So what's your number one, Alex? My number one is a song that Bill hates. (laughs) It's No No Satisfaction by Da Pump from Welcome to Demon School, Arumakon, season two. I wow. love how stupid this song is. It's Did you so pick this stupid. solely to annoy me? No. <laughs> well, a little bit, but also because I just fucking love this song. It is such a goofy song. It's like, it literally starts off like, I just remember this. I just remember the stupid chorus more than anything. I love the intro. There's one part where the grandpa just goes like are you ready (laughs) it's so silly and i love it (laughs) it's just it fits the vibe of the show and um season one was also by the same artist to pump it fit the show and then season three they switched up the artist which i gotta say made me a little sad because i love how goofy and like very i feel like the intros are kind of going back to that almost (laughs) 80s style of like anime intro so i was a little sad when they didn't continue with him but i gotta say i love this intro i listen to it unironically because it's just such a good bop and it's just so fun to watching it because um there's like one scene where it's like aruma and then all of the misfit class and his friends and they're all just doing this little dance and it just oh I love this. I love this intro. And I love that it just annoys the shit out of Bill. Like, I will blast it full volume in the car and he'll be like, turn it down. We're in the neighborhood. And I'll be like, no, I'm listening to it full volume. Lovely. I was wondering because I was like, she's not doing a demon school one. And she likes that show a lot. (laughs) And I should have known. Pretty fun, pretty interesting that uh, Inuyasha didn't make my listing, and that's because Inuyasha's intros kind of suck. Yeah, I'm sorry, especially that one was like, "Hey kids, let's all jump on the well, train." That that's not in the actual intro. But... Yeah, but it's associated with it, which makes it equally cursed. Yeah, and most most of the Inuyasha intros I learned aren't even on Spotify. Yeah, because they suck. <laughs> no one wants to listen to them. It's, it's not even that they all suck. Like, Grip is <laughs> okay, good. but Grip is just kind of... It's fine. Like, yeah. In- Inuyasha has better outros. I will say that yeah, right away. I can confirm the outros for Inuyasha are so much better. And some of them iconic. I- I'll say, like, the best Inuyasha intro is the intro for the final act, which is the only intro that uh, Do As Infinity did. Yep. And, and that's that's why <laughs> that's why it's that's, good. But also, it's arguably her weakest Inuyasha song. So, yeah, yeah. But, but um, yeah, this was pretty fun. We actually did this a lot quicker than I thought we would. I wish, yeah, I do wish that we could play the um, play the audio with it. But I feel like if you watch it on YouTube and then have the songs kind of pause, you, I feel like it will sound. It will be pretty fun. Or if you're listeners. listening through like Apple Podcasts or something, or um, yeah. any non spot basically any podcast platform that isn't Spotify, yeah, um, you can play along with it. Um, so yeah, we're if and if we you did we didn't we already kind of hinted it, but the next episode is going to be outros. So yeah, we'll see you guys all next week when we talk about the our top ten anime outros. Because sure. let's be real, outros are very different from intros in a lot of oh, ways. Oh yeah. Uh, and this is really fun. I'd definitely love to, kind of like what we talked the last time, maybe do this with some other friends in the future, too, and maybe revisit this, because, as we know, more shows come out, and the music only gets better and better hmm. each year. Yeah. So Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. 
But uh, anyways, guys, once again, thanks for joining us on the Gaming and Collecting Podcast. The Gaming and Collecting Podcast can be found on all your major podcasting platforms, particularly Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We're also available on YouTube now, and uh, you can find all of our links at linktree slash the Barbecue Games. Yep. And if you'd like, you can join us over at the GNC Podcast Network Discord server where you can get all things no. GNC, 3DO, Geek Addicts. No. What? We didn't bring it up. That's There's fine. channel. There's a new Discord channel in our... I mean, is it channel or is it... Yes. A channel. new channel. I know Discord good yet. Um, It's one bottle facts. Stay hydrated. It's just Alex's... all quirky or get out. No liquid death allowed, Bill. You're banned from the channel. I'm going to block you from the channel. Bill is can't, not allowed. You can't do that. I'm the administrator. Um, I'm going to find a way. Yeah. That's just Alex's water. <laughs> That's Alex's propaganda channel, though. That's <laughs> just. I mean, it's my water bottle facts. Who doesn't love a good water bottle? You counter. Me, you counter. Counter contradicted yourself already multiple times in it. <laughs> That's part of it. Gnuf. What did I say? What did I say? I don't fucking. Know. I don't know. But, but anyways, anyways, guys. Once again, no! thanks for joining us on the Gaming no! Cooking Podcast, and we will see you all later. No, you won't. Unless there you're you in the water bottle channel, you better you better go take a look at it, and you better contribute nice things about Kirky Boy. <laughs>